What? We're going to sit down, eat lunch, and tell you 20 things we wish we could tell ourselves when we were 20. We're not 20. You get lunch? I ordered you lunch. This is my new favorite lunch. Thank you. Wait, you've had this? I had it. What do you mean? I've had it. This is the first time I've had it. I know. You were in Indy. Okay. Are you serious? Yeah. Ooh, what is it? Yaki udon. What? Yaki udon. Is that an accent? Is that uh, politically correct? So we've been doing YouTube now for, what, eight years? Mm-hmm. And honestly, we've never been good at making YouTube videos. <clears throat> Did you know that? Did you know that? We, we make a lot of them, but we're not great at them. So we're trying this whole different style where it's just like, it's just us doing what we do. Are you talking to me or them? Well, everybody. Okay. Is that fine? <laughs> uh, are you going to pray? You ate first. Of day, think of this food. <laughs> Thank you for my interesting husband. Do you say a prayer, amen? Cheers. Cheers. Do we get the same thing? Yes. Okay. So we I, I've been thinking about a list of 20 things to do in my 20s. I'm also not that comfortable, to be honest. Do I have a little backdrop here? How are you sitting? I get, I'm used to it. All right. <laughs> You can't great. even feed bear with a bottle unless you're in the most perfect setup. <laughs> I have to be. <laughs> I have to breastfeed in any situation known to mankind. I got knots in places you've probably never felt before. Look, I got back issues, and I'm trying. I'm here for the long. You game. don't think I am? I'm I here don't? for a long time, not a not a good time. You know what I'm saying? I got this thing. No. Okay. Um, I'm here for a good time. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'm here for a good time. Not You're struggling. Time. You want to put another pillow behind your back? No, it's totally good. It's great. Here, like this. Okay. Back up. Should I start a fire while we're here? No. Okay, I think we're... <laughs> we're getting there. This is amazing, by the way. You like it? Yeah. Udon? Yaki udon. Dude, we gotta send Rat and Rebecca a picture. We Rat have, and we Rebecca? Have, we have friends in California you that, that loved udon. Why? It doesn't. It doesn't measure up to. L.A. No. Okay. Do you have your list ready for twenty things you tell yourself in twenty? Mm -hmm. We're here for a purpose, not to just eat lunch. I thought you wanted more of a somber video. You're still the. You're still doing the over the top thing. Me? Yeah. We're here for a purpose. I'm just saying we're supposed to be talking about something. Okay. This isn't okay. just a mukbang. Oh, We've never done be. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, what? Did, 20 what, things. Did you mean that in a weird way? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I did. Okay. 20 things I would tell myself. What? 20 things what? You would tell yourself in your 20s. Yeah. Do you have your list? What's your first one? I would say that. Oh, shoot. It's on my computer. Would you go back? No, no, I'll go get your computer. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, you want to act like nobody else is here? Pillows <laughs> Sean just got this. Sean just got this beautiful purple case. No, you bought it, and I feel very weird about it. Purple? Very. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like a kid. Like we went to a like an official meeting at the Ramsey's yeah. place. Such a big bite. Okay, this is supposed to be a somber video, and you're still like, you know, a little salty. I'm Tone always, that down. Tone that down. Always salty, babe. You know this. Oh. this the <laughs> Are you still struggling? Yes. <laughs> I haven't sat like this since the second grade. I can get that purple ball. No, it's totally good. I like it. I like it. You look very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Do you not, can you not sit crisscross applesauce? I would say. Okay. Andrew at age 20. Oh, what up, dude, by the way? It's good to see you. I know you're at classes in Vandy, go doors. I'm telling my, I'm talking to myself at 20. That's how you talk. <laughs> <laughs> First advice I would have for, for Andy is. You've never been called Andy in your entire life. My first advice for Andy is 
remember that it's a long game. And I felt like back when I was that young. Were you playing the short game? Okay, that's my advice. You're next. That, that wasn't even a joke. Oh. <laughs> Do you think that's funny? Yeah. Do you feel good about that? I do. You can't just say something that I say and then wink after in it. Go ahead. No, you know what you can do. You can always do this. Oh, it. I said, get out of the tanning bed. Wow. You've been in a tanning bed. Wow. I would say, second piece of advice is... Choose your friends wisely because they have more influence over you than you know. We approach this conversation very different. I said drink more water. <laughs> yeah, I would tell you that right now. Yeah, same. Have you drank any water right now? Today? Today? No. I save it for the nighttime. That's You're just trying to make up for a whole day. Literally. And then I get pissed because I have to wake up in the middle of the night and pee so many times. Um, my third piece of advice is just know that if you keep on going, it's probably going to turn out okay. So just wake up another day, put one foot in front of the other. Did you go super shallow <laughs> with all of them? <laughs> Are you serious? You look down, you see the next one, you're like... I would just tell you that <laughs> it's going to be okay. I said, don't go to bed without washing your face and putting on moisturizer. Why? That, why is that your Because it's gross. And it's, it's just gross. Have more respect for yourself. Well, on that note, my next piece of advice is don't think so much about what other people think about you. Including your hygiene, Andy. What? I'm just saying... I'm not saying wash your face for other people. I'm saying wash your face for yourself. It's gross to yourself? Yeah. To it's not horrible wash your face. for your skin. <laughs> what do you mean? It leaves you greasy and dirty. That No. It is natural oils. I'm sorry. I'm very confused. You know what? Don't give advice to Andy. Give advice to little you Shawnee. You said stop thinking of... Stop being affected Don't think about, so much about what other people think about you. Oh, I thought you literally meant about your hygiene no no okay uh wear sunscreen always every single one of yours is like this stop reading mine <laughs> i would say hey <clears throat> do better i think my next piece of advice would be to realize that when you feel uh, when you don't feel at home, you should like listen to that. If that's a pattern, I was just thinking about in football. I learn something about myself when I'm in situations where I feel like I'm thriving. You know, <clears throat> I gotta think about that device more. You learn more in situations where you're thriving. No, it's like when you don't feel like you're at home. Like that feeling where it's like, I could make this happen. This is a group of people or this is an activity I could do for a while. No, keep going. I want to flush this out. When I was playing football, like, I didn't feel great in the NFL. I didn't feel like that was my thing ever. So when I should have just freaking... When you aren't in your comfort zone. Not home, literally. Yeah. Gotcha. Correct. But it's not all about being comfortable, which will be my next piece of advice. But you go ahead. Okay. I said stop overworking out. I remember I feel that like that's something Sean. a lot of people should learn. That used to be your sole activity in a day. Mm -hmm. This is great, by the way. It's so good, isn't it? My next piece of advice, this is my life motto in a lot of ways, is make yourself comfortable with being uncomfortable. Does that directly contradict my last piece of advice? Yes. But is there a deep duality to many things in life? How does it Also, yes. How does it contradict it? Because my last one was like, if you don't feel super calm, like at home is how I'm phrasing that. You should listen to that. And revert 
back to home. You're not following my advice. I'm not. I don't get it. I don't get that one. That's okay. You noodle on it. It's going to profoundly... <clears throat> it'll vibe at some point. Did you just choke? <laughs> no. Here's my first deep one. It said, stop trying to please everyone. I feel like I spent the majority of my 20s doing everything for other people. How I dressed, what I did for a career, how I acted, music I listened to. Everything. It was so someone else would like approve of it. Mm. And it's exhausting. That's not what you're supposed to do. Sometimes I take a massive bite and it feels like I'm about to choke. <coughs> That'd be a heck of a way to go out. Um, my next thing is, and this actually has to do I with... I think that's a really easy thing to fix. This, ha this has to do with the, this most recent book. This is one of my favorite authors. We get to interview him on our podcast, John Mark Comer. He just came out with that new book. But realize, Andy, that the music you listen to and the books you read, I think subconsciously program you in ways that you, you want to understand for years. Like it kind of builds this background track of life. So just be aware of that and be intentional with it. Is there a world in which you can be curious but not be influenced? I'm just saying I'm really thankful that my mom had us listen to a certain type of music growing up. And now that's like my, that's like what I will hum to myself. And that actually matters, I think, when you get in a pinch. This is not an inquisitive, you don't get a freaking no feedback what? in my advice. This is feedback. me talking to Andy. I'm learning about okay. you. <laughs> okay. I said take a class on taxes. Yes. Yes. It's called TurboTax.com. <laughs> no. Pay the extra 50 bucks for the person to review your taxes. <laughs> Learn about life. Learn about paying bills. Learn how to change a tire. Learn your directions. Learn how to get place without GPS. Learn about credit cards and debt and everything. Your credit scores. Learn about it. That is life. Is this a reminder to yourself for later? Life insurance. <laughs> you all the things. Life insurance. Anything. Health insurance. Dude, insurance. Insurance? So, how does life insurance fit in? Sound like a good. Life insurance adds predictability and security to your financial plan. Let's get real. I don't wake up in the morning thinking about life insurance. What? No way! It can feel daunting to focus on what-if scenarios, but as a parent, it is so important to plan for the unexpected. And as a spouse. This is really, really sweet of you. We all want to make sure our babies are protected. And life insurance is the foundation of financial planning that can protect the people that you care about most. Modern Woodman makes it easy for you to create a plan that's best for your family. I love family. So while life insurance may not be a gift that's at the top of your kid's birthday wish list, it can give them a financial head start in life, which is a pretty great gift if you ask me. Premiums are lower and purchasing coverage while they're young and healthy protects them throughout their entire lives. Modern Woodman shares your values and can help you meet your current needs, achieve your dreams, and plan for all stages of life. This is amazing. Check out Modern Woodman today to better protect your family because in the end, we all want to leave a legacy behind. There's a lot. Oh, get a primary care doctor, guys. Go to the dentist. Mm. Mm. What else? That's about it. Ladies, get an OBGYN. Take your dog to the vet. How many pieces of advice? Did you <laughs> That's all in one. That's all in one. <laughs> Do I still hear my teeth? Oh. This is a, uh, no, let me see. <laughs> I'm thinking. You left me hanging. No, your teeth look white though. Thanks. That was not reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I said. Oh. <laughs> I said bad boys are called bad boys for a reason. That would be another video. Sean, Stay away. How about Sean's dating history? 
Oh, Actually, <laughs> same with yours. Clean. My record's clean. No, dude. it's not. <laughs> really? Uh, good time. I said, find yourself a nice man that and? treats you well. And I'm still looking. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was not a nice joke. Oh. Uh. I will say this though. I was the stereotypical 18, 19 year old kid the first time we were ever introduced, 20 year old, where I was like, I had my specific list of type of person and whatever. And I would say at the time you didn't fit the list that I like had for myself. And I ended up giving us a chance and you were like the best, most perfect type of person ever. And had I not given you a chance because of my list, we wouldn't have our babies, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be married. So I'm saying like throw your list away and like give more people a chance. I appreciate that. Sometimes I feel like Sean was at rock bottom in her life when she dated me. Thank goodness, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think you were too. You were just juggling all the women, weren't you? Uh, next piece of advice actually comes from Ted Lasso. Quote. I like how he phrased it. Be curious and oh. not judgmental. Is that the best scene ever in Ted Lasso? So good when they throw in the, the darts. darts. Yeah. Maybe you want to play darts. But I like that. I like that take. Mm -hmm. It's like there is always room for curiosity. And then when you're able to... I think maybe it even has to do with gratitude. And the way he says... People who are judgmental, it actually has nothing to do with him. Yeah. That's I'm still extremely it. uncomfortable. It's the most uncomfortable lunch I've ever had. Oh, There's sorry. a table like right there. Do you want to lay people. down? What, and be like a Greek, like you feed me, here, feed me a little udon. <laughs> okay. You're next. I said, vodka, don't. Oh, some backstories to that one, huh? It's we should, we should, not, <laughs> should dive into that a little bit. Same with you. You puked on someone. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not good. Don't do it. But wine? What would you say? It's just alcohol in very gentle moderation. You don't ever need to go over the top. Nothing good happens ever. Wow. Okay. We'll circle back on that and Sean's exes. Next, this is similar to a previous one. Um, realize that everything compounds. Relationships, habits, health, money. All of it does. So, like, <clears throat> keep... Keep going. But also your bad habits compound. So yeah. just keep an eye out. Yeah. I said fad diets never work. I remember that version of Sean too. For the girls. Don't ever do it. I said on that I said study nutrition or get a nutritionist early in life. I think that will save you a lot of struggle. Especially with culture. Social culture of we haven't talked about that in a long time. Really since we've had kids. That used to be a huge thing oh. for you. Uh, Good job, babe. Good job. Thanks. Next thing is, uh, I think in your 20s, kind of be a yes man. Obviously you need boundaries and like don't, don't say yes to bad things. But like try a bunch of things out. 100%. Not drugs. Why is that? Why is that? You think you the only tell opportunities a... you have when you're 20 is like, hey, you want to try this drug? No, there's like, hey, you want to come? There's a try lot. Mountain biking or go hiking. There's or... a lot. Think of young 20 year olds in college. You need new friends. In college, we're talking about on the brink of adulthood. By your standards. Just try a lot of things out. Mm. I said get a dog sooner in life. It helps mature you. Mm. Yeah, that's right. I'll cheers to that. 
Damn it. Don't. <laughs> uh, call your mom and dad. Hmm. More. You okay? Yeah, I'm about to. Hey, just give me. I'm about to have one. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna let you sit in it. I'm, I'm, fine. I'm, I'm here for it. You're about to go off the cliff, aren't you? <laughs> oh, baby. I'm totally, I'm totally fine crying. <laughs> it's nice. It's a nice thing. Mm. It feels good. When, when do you feel this depth of emotion? You know? Rarely. Are you going to keep talking? <laughs> you are such a comfort, comforting wife. You're this supporting. is what you do, too. <laughs> you make light of... I love you. That's no, good. Um... <clears throat> On that note, I said therapy is great. Yeah, I wish you would have told yourself that in your 20s, too. I wish you would have told yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, snot I, I, on your I, I think there's very few relationships that have ended poorly. Like... In whatever type of relationship but there's always room to be respectful even if there's a splitting of ways or like hurt feelings so be really thoughtful this is almost like a watch your words advice be thoughtful with them yeah. and even if there's like a, something that needs to be addressed that's uncomfortable you should address it but be really thoughtful yeah. like that this is advice my grandpa used to, Papa, we used Papa? to call him Papa East, said, uh, anything you do, do it with such excellence that you'd be proud to sign your name to it. What piece of advice are we on? I have a couple more, but we gotta be close, right? I don't know. Oh, uh, this one's kind of dark. Sorry, guys. This is more for my ladies and my guys, okay? You're in your 20s, probably going out. We're good. Okay. Here I go. You good? Yeah. <laughs> You're in your 20s. You're probably going to go out with your friends. Bars, late at night. That's it. Let's just be smart. Don't go out by yourself. Don't leave drinks unattended. Share your location with someone. And always tell someone... When you should be back home. Is this related to the vodka one? It's not. <laughs> it's just like you had one bad night. No. That is smart. A hundred percent. I also will say, it's interesting. Don't be like, oh, I can take care of myself. The thing it is, doesn't hurt. It never hurts. I've appreciated, uh, I've learned to appreciate that the things that Sean is worried about is way different than the things I'm worried about. It's also just way different from a guy to a girl. A girl in her 20s shouldn't be out late at night by herself. Mm. Next bit of advice is from my Grandpa Palmer. Okay. Who always thought it was important to maintain a sense of humor. And I think that's right. I also think that if you're able to have humor, just like curiosity, there's like a little bit of, it's like you're able to have a certain perspective on things. It's a little more removed and probably healthier. Was mm -hmm. that your last piece? No, I have two more. Okay. I said take a multivitamin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I Are you enough. done? Uh, I think I had one more. It's probably my best one, but I think I forgot it. Mm. Oh, journal. Uh, I, I actually think that's right. I said go to church. Mm-hmm. I like this. I don't like the udon. I didn't like our seating arrangement, but it's fine. <laughs> what do we got to pick up all these freaking pillows now? Come on, we're gonna we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna we're gonna reassemble this. No. Yeah, we are. We're doing it live. <clears throat> That's you, all we got. Now keep rolling. Why do you have so many stains on keep your Keep rolling. Cause I just it, 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 udon. Let us know what you think about this video style. Also, let us know what advice you have for yourself at age twenty.
Um, are you 20? Are you even 20? Here's what we're focusing on this year. We've tried a lot of things, just like I just recommended you do in your 20s. <laughs> and now that we're 30, we're trying less things and trying to focus on the important things. So that's the kind of the theme of this year. Are you trying to nut tap me? <laughs> I'm very comfortable. You don't want to get up? I'm going to hang out right here. I want to reassemble this whole room that we that we assembled. For Is that assembling? <laughs> oh, that was, that was my other thing. Make your bed. Um, this is my last piece. I was thinking uh, how you uh, organize things like your room actually matters. Really? I, I've gotten better at that. Yeah. I used to be a minimalist. But <laughs> I did. No, you I was you a minimalist. Were never, never. Ever. Anyway, it was simple. How do you organize your simple. car, Andrew? Not minimals. You're not helping at all. I said I was comfortable. Also, you ate all the noodles and none of the chicken. I know, and you ate everything but not the noodles. Uh, we gotta send that picture to Matt and Rebecca. Did we close out the video yet? I don't think so. We're oh, supposed give to? us your advice for yourself in your 20s. Let us know what you think about this. I'm standing extremely close to this microphone. Uh, oh, no, no, I want another tangent. I want another tangent. Sorry, this is it. <laughs> this is uh, literally oh, how this... his brain works. No, okay. <laughs> it's so hard to follow. Do you have to, ADHD? To, fin to finish my thought on what we're focusing on in our 30s, we were t really trying to like make the high pace you know dopamine type youtube Why are we videos doing that, <clears throat> and that's uh because i like to i like i love youtube i love youtube that's also your mo is like like that you live at 100. okay but now we just realized we're focusing this year on just we're not trying to like make crazy cool youtube videos we're actually just trying to like get to know y'all better get to know each other better we're doing an event hopefully that'll work anyway um, that's all I got. You, you want to say anything else? You're literally on a pedestal. This has been fun. You like it? <laughs> that's how you're gonna go. <laughs> I'm Andrew. I'm Sean. We're the East Man. Ah. <laughs> Can I see those noodles? I got you good. I'm really sorry. You left the best part.